Hey everyone, it's Keller. I am so excited about my new ad server, so I wanted to create this video and show you how easy it is to use OIO Publisher to uh, set up some banner ads on your uh, WordPress website. So you'll start in your OIO Publisher admin section, and we'll just scroll down to settings. And then we'll go ahead and add some banner ads. So click on banner ads. And we want to create a new zone. And the zone is going to be the location on your website that your banner ads show up on. So uh, we'll choose zone four. Oh, that's already used. Let's go ahead and choose zone five. And we'll go ahead and name this. So I'm going to name it, uh, we'll do it uh, top of site banner. And it's going to be 728 by 90. And so that just helps me uh, identify what uh, zone this is for. And I'm not going to do, um, I'm not going to sell this ad space right now. I'm just going to set up some of my own affiliate links. So you don't need to worry about banner price for this tutorial. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and put in my banner width and height. And I just want one column and one row for this zone. And I'm going to uh, uh, leave that alone. That's also for selling space there. And we don't need to actually worry about any of these things. We're just going to keep scrolling down. One thing right here, though, is you can use the nofollow attribute. And then what that means is that you're telling the search engines when they come to index your site not to follow that link. And I like to go ahead and put that on yes. Um, so, but you, you can choose. Then we'll go ahead and scroll down to the default ad config. And I'm going to put two ads into this zone. So put two there and go ahead and click update settings. Now scroll back down and you're going to see that it's now provided you with two sections to put your information. So we'll go ahead and put the image URL right there and you'll get that from your affiliate. Uh, and we'll go ahead and I've got some things saved here so I don't have to type and keep you waiting. So we'll go ahead and put our affiliate link in there. And so that sets up that first ad. We're making it an image. Uh, you can also put in HTML if you want. And there's geo-targeting here. Um, if you want to specify to what country this ad should show for, I'm going to set it to global. And then we'll put in one more banner ad here. So again, put in the image URL and your affiliate link and go ahead and update the settings. Okay, so now it's all set up. The only thing we have to do is add the script right here to where we actually want this to be displayed on our website. So go ahead and highlight that, right click and click copy. And now we're going to go over to the appearance section of your WordPress admin and click on editor. This is about the most technical this will get for you. So uh, don't be intimidated. This is going to be very easy. We'll just put this ad at the very top of our website. So click on header. And you're going to see a lot of coding here. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and scroll down until you see your body tag right here. And go ahead and insert, which would be control V. Uh, or you can right click and paste your script right in there and click update file. Now we'll head over to the website. This is how it looked before I added that uh, ad zone. We'll go ahead and refresh the page and we should see our new ad zone at the very top of the website. There it is. Now we put in two different banner ads. So every time this page is refreshed, or every couple times, it should rotate the banners. So we see one right there. We'll go ahead and refresh it again. And there we go, we see the other ad. Very easy. So let's go ahead and, and do one more ad zone and we'll do it on our sidebar. So go back to your settings and go back to banner ads. And we'll click zone six for this one. And we'll call this sidebar. Uh, 300 by 250. And those are going to be the size of the banners we'll put in this section. Go ahead and specify that width and height here. Again, we just want one column and one row. 
and go all the way down to your default ad config. We'll put in two more ads here and update your settings. And now let's go back down there and add in our image and our affiliate links. and update the settings. Okay, scroll on up and let's go ahead and copy and paste this script into a widget on our sidebar. So click on widgets under appearance and we're going to just add a text file and we'll bring it up to the very top so we can see this easily. Go ahead and edit that text file and just go ahead and paste in that script code right there. Click done and click save changes and then we'll head over to the website, click refresh, and our new ad zone should appear right here. And there we go. So that's our first ad, and if we refresh, we should see the second ad show up. And there it is. So OIO is really, it's extremely easy to use. I am so thrilled. I spent hours researching you know, an, an ad server that would work for me, something that would be pretty automated and really easy to use, and I'm so happy I found this. Uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, you see how easy this is. Uh, in your WordPress admin section, your OIO is a plugin, so it's all right there. Just log into your WordPress, and you get to uh, manage your ads. All right, thanks so much, you guys, and I'll see you later.